What is up everybody? Rod J back in the house. Welcome back to check out another video. Appreciate you swinging by to check me out with another beer. Going to actually share one here that I hope is a nice special treat. This is going to be a look at one from Streff Hendrick and it is the Christmas Blend 2. So this is actually one that I pulled from the seller so to speak it is a 2018 edition comes in with an abv of 11 percent straight out of belgium shipped through virginia and uh, it is an oak age quadruple blend it is a combination of bordeaux calvados rum barrel age quad and then with a young quad to ferment all together they recommend you can age this up to five years, so we're in good shape there. It does have a date on here of August of 2021. Not sure if that's maybe when it got imported into our market or whatever, but uh, definitely one that I happen to find popping into one of the local beer stores. And uh, I say seller, I say seller just cause it's older, but they pretty much sell it for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this one open. I let it sit out for a bit because it did come out of uh, one of the beer fridges it says to serve cool between 55 to 60 so got the tin got the cork you guys know i love my belgian ales i don't mess around with those bad boys so uh this should hopefully be a nice cap to the day as we are now into the evening let's get it open oh yeah that's that magical sound we love to hear get a nice pour got a nice muddy brown kind of color coming out of the beer now with something like this some people get a little nervous about some of the yeast that might be in the bottom because it is fermented probably in the bottle there too once it went there but uh if you do have some of that on the back end you can pour slowly and leave some towards the bottom or some people like to just pour it out on top it's not going to hurt you so you know if you take it in you're still okay you're still okay but you look at that there, the head dissipated rather quickly, but like I said, it's a muddy brown type color to the beer. Get it up to a light, not even making out anything really into it. Almost a little bit of a reddish tone as well. On the nose, it's aromatic. You do get the notes coming out of the beer. From what I'm getting, I'm getting more of the dark fruit type feel, which is common for this type of style for a quad. I do get some booziness on the nose. I get some of the woodiness from the barrel. Now it doesn't really jump out too much of kind of a rum type note, but you can definitely tell it had some barrel in where it had some type of influence in play. Taste wise. Oh, that is good. Nice candy sweetness to it. So you can tell it's kind of like a candy sugar that was used in here as well. Really sits nice in the mouth. You get a nice delayed feeling after you swallow. I feel like the throat is really getting a lot of the flavors right there as I'm talking. It's almost like they're coming up through the mouth and keeping everything kind of together. Nice full body on it. Good amount of carbonation, can really feel the prickling on the tongue. Carbonation is definitely running through this beer. Not overly heavy, you know, I talk about smelling the booziness. You actually uh, don't really get that much of a taste in it as much. You can tell it's a stronger beer, but it's not overly hot from the alcohol. It just really comes together very nicely. This is one that I can definitely sit back and enjoy without any problem. So we can get a little bit closer here. You might be able to see some of the carbonation there on the side from the alcohol legs or whatever you want to look at there, but it's uh, it's nice. It's very nice. <laughs> After a long day at work, very, very nice. Texture-wise, a little bit of that syrupy type of peel that you can get on some of these beers. It's got a nice stickiness in the mouth. I feel like it really sticks into the cheeks very well. The 
is you pretty much have that just around. The more you suck your cheeks in the mouth, the more the flavor just tends to come out also. You know, I do get the rum now on the back part as I'm drinking more and more. If you hold it in the mouth, you think you do a swallow, you'll pick up some of the rum on the back of it, on the back end, which is nice. As far as anything else with it, a little bit of, like I said, that sweetness you're getting from the candy type appeal. You have that in play. Lays on the tongue nicely, leaves nice flavor, tickling the taste buds, so to speak. And overall, you're left with a nice, pleasant feel. I really dig this one. Again, this is the uh, the Christmas blend, but with this one, Christmas can be any day, not just in December. I would definitely say, if you happen to see this one out there, Give it a shot, pick it up, see if you like it. This is a 25.4 ounce bottle, so it is a big one. Usually something like this you'll want to share with a friend, but it's just me, so what am I going to do? I'm going to finish the beer, that's what I'm going to do. But uh, Christmas Blend, 11% ABV, well worth the grab. I said 11, I said Christmas Blend 2. I didn't realize on the label when I said that. That's not really a 2, it's really the 11% that they're telling you on there, so. <laughs> so read things fully before you actually do the video sometimes thanks for swinging by to check this one out if you've had this beer let me know leave a comment in the comment section always want to hear your guys feedback or if you've had any beers from Strafe Hendrix let me know as well I feel like some of my buddies there overseas have probably come into this a little bit more common but we do get it in the states as you can see since I do have one here look forward to catching up with you guys soon Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on, drink beer, live hoppily. Cheers, everybody.